On a weekend of rallies across the country raising awareness about gun violence, several people were killed in multiple shootings. One was on a busy street in Philadelphia. Another happened outside a nightclub in Chattanooga, Tennessee. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is here now with details. Lisa? Well, Jessica, in each shooting, three people died and at least a dozen were injured. Some of them are in hospitals right now in critical condition, and both investigations are still very active. Surveillance video shows South Street in Philadelphia bustling with people as it would be on any Saturday night. But just after 11.30, within seconds, people are running for their lives. We're absolutely devastated, devastated by this incident. And we mourn the lives lost. The commissioner said it all may have started with a fight and two men began firing at each other. Police believe multiple gunshots rang out. Three people ages 22, 27 and 34 were killed. 11 people ranging from 17 to 69 years old were struck. Officers on location began to render first aid to the wounded and another responding officer who was on location and responding to the incident observed an unknown male firing a handgun into a large crowd on the 400 block of South Street from approximately a half a block away. The officer drew his weapon and fired several times in the direction of the unknown male. We believe striking him. Police say it's unclear if the man was hit, but he dropped his handgun on the sidewalk and ran. It's one of at least two guns recovered from the scene, including an extended magazine. Police are looking for three other guns they believe were used. And tonight, police are keeping several blocks closed until 6 a.m. tomorrow due to patterns of recent violence in the area and ongoing safety concerns. Further south in Chattanooga, Tennessee, around 2 4 in the morning, police there say three people were killed outside a nightclub. At this time, we can confirm 14 gunshot victims and three victims that were struck by vehicles that were attempting to flee the scene. Three fatalities have been confirmed, two of which are related to gunshot wounds and one of which is related to injuries sustained after being struck by a vehicle. The police chief says at least one of the injured is a juvenile. She said police did not believe there was a public safety threat even though no one has been arrested. There's going to be multiple shooters. We cannot confirm how many, but there's definitely uh, more than one shooter. And back in our area, there was a shooting with multiple victims in Hempstead, Long Island. Police say just after 10 last night, a 19-year-old man was killed near Terrace Avenue. Three others were injured. This all comes just days after the president called on Congress to implement new gun control measures. Jessica. All right, Lisa, thank you.